So with this, the aid of this audio guide, we're hoping you can step outside your back door, front door, and use your own planetarium, the real sky. The sky, by the way, does have some of the same constellations as the other seasons. And we can start with a really well-known pattern called the Big Dipper, even though it's not the brightest pattern in the sky. It is always up, no matter what time of day or what season of the year and month it is. The Big Dipper is somewhere in the northern part of the sky. So cast your eyes about, um, probably about halfway or almost halfway up the sky. That's halfway from the horizon to the point directly overhead. And see if you can spot seven stars that make a cup tilted up and a handle hanging down. The cup is only four stars. It's a simple rectangle. And the handle of three stars in a curved line hangs down from it. Now, that is the Big Dipper. It's generally in the north, and at this month, in fact, it's a little east of north, to the right of north, that is. And it has fairly equally bright stars that are visible in an average sky. That means if it's really bright, you might not be able to see all those stars, but it doesn't have to be a completely black sky in order to see the Big Dipper. Once you've found it, you should be able to see a curved handle or arc hanging down and a cup of four stars atop it. Go to the very top of the cup because those two stars are, that form the front of the cup actually are nicknamed the pointer stars because if you draw a line from the right hand star past the left hand star at the front of the cup and keep that line going kind of like a pointer you'll find the north star. Do it with your finger if you like just trace the the line between those two stars and keep it going to the left and a little bit downwards until you come to another medium star just about as bright as those two pointer stars where we started. That's the North Star. That's also the end of the handle of the Little Dipper. But unless you have a really dark sky, you're probably not going to be able to see more than half of the stars in the Little Dipper. It'll be very hard to form that shape. Nevertheless, the medium star pretty much the brightest star in that area of the sky. That is the North Star and gives you a very accurate sense of the direction north. Now, in the sky of spring in March, some of the brightest stars of the whole sky can be found behind us in the south. Let's take a look at Orion. We'll start at the dog's bright nose, go a little higher in the sky, to the right now, a little bit west, in other words, and see if you don't bump into three equally spaced, equally bright, not too bright, but equally bright stars. Those three stars in a short string form the belt of Orion the Hunter. It's a pattern that a lot of people have recognized, and it sort of stands out because it is so uniform and so straight, but there's a lot more to Orion than that. For today, let's just check out his brightest two stars since they are so beautiful in the sky. If you look from the slanted belt, if you look up above the belt and a little left, you see a really bright star that might even look as if it's a little bit red to you. It might even flash red, white, red, white. And that's a star called Betelgeuse. It is a red supergiant star. It's swelled up. It's an old star and it's swelled up. It's becoming a bit unstable. And maybe one day in the future, perhaps very far in the future, it will explode and we'll have a very bright, very bright supernova in our sky. But to, for, for now, we just enjoy its brilliant red color and call it Betelgeuse for the fun of it. Now, if you go back down to the belt of three stars and continue downwards, you'll run into a very different star because it's a bluish white star. It's extremely bright. It's trying to compete perhaps with the dog's nose, but it's never been as bright as that. That star is called Rigel, which simply means knee, and that's Orion's right knee. So the red star is Orion's left shoulder. The three stars below that are his belt, and the bright white star below and right of the belt, that's Orion's knee. If you have a truly dark sky, there are many more dim stars in that area, and you can perhaps build a man standing there with a fuzzy little head and a shield to protect himself held out to the right or west of him. From the horizon, that would be even with your eyes, up one, two, three, 
to pretty much the brightest thing or dot of light that you can see in that part of the sky. It should look kind of like a yellowish, fairly bright star, and yet it's not. It's actually a planet, the planet, planet Saturn, excuse me. And Saturn is going to be with us throughout the spring, so we can enjoy it getting higher and higher from month to month. We'll see where, how high it is next month in April when we do this again together. And above that, several fists, let's see, one, two, probably three fists again, or four fists above that and a little to the right, is another one of those white bright stars. Now this one might be a little bit bluish because it's a very hot star and hot stars do appear bluer while the cool stars appear redder. That bright star is called Regulus. It means kingly or regal and it certainly is an appropriate star to be the heart star in the king of the beasts, Leo the lion. Leo is right there but to see Leo, and you should follow him throughout the spring because he's very distinctive, this pattern. To see him, you have to imagine a backwards question mark. The bright star Regulus, where we are now, is the at the bottom of the question mark. And the question mark is kind of a hook of stars. You just go up and left, and then straight left, and then up and left again. From star to star, these are moderate dim stars, dimmer stars. But starting at Regulus, go left and uh, or up left left and then up left and then straight up and then straight right to form a hook that's the tracing of the back of leo's head a very large head that he has and the first leg of it from regulus the bright star to the first star upper left that would be the chest of the lion now this lion is actually a lion on a hillside and he's uphill so from the hook shape, you have to go almost straight down and you might not be able to see, before you get down as far as Saturn, you might be able to see a triangle of three stars plus a few dimmer stars to form the triangle, his, his tail and his hip, and the dimmer star, stars below that and above Saturn. Those could be the back leg of the lion as he's lying casually on that hillside up there. But that's Leo the lion, and just like the saying says, March comes in like a lion, well, there he is right there coming into our nighttime sky for the month of March.